In 1707, the Acts of Union were signed, formally unifying England and Scotland into one country, Great Britain. The now unified nations were already embroiled in the Continental War of the Spanish Succession. Britain, allied with Portugal, the Dutch Republic and the Holy Roman Empire, were fighting to prevent Louis XIV of France from regaining de facto control over the Spanish Empire, which had finally collapsed with the death of the last Habsburg king, Philip II. Britain's goal in the war was to protect international trade and prevent one nation becoming the dominant power in Europe. This was to remain Britain's objective in warfare for the next two centuries. The Great Battle of Blenheim had been fought in 1704, keeping Austria in the war, and the victorious Duke of Marlborough was to remain field commander of the Allied forces until his dismissal in 1711. In 1708, the French had hoped to invade Scotland and undo the recent union, but the volatile weather in the Channel prevented this. Fighting in the Americas was indecisive, with the colonists largely being left to their own devices in the hopes that territories could be gained from France by defeating them in Europe. In August 1712, after years of back and forth campaigning across Europe, the Allies made peace, the Netherlands had a more secure border, trade was maintained for the naval powers, and the King of France remained in France. Territorially, Britain acquired Newfoundland, St Kitts, Acadia, Menorca and Gibraltar. 1715 saw the Jacobite rising occur in Britain. This was an attempt to restore the Stuart dynasty to the throne, but despite French support, James Francis Edward Stuart was ultimately defeated and fled the country. 1717 saw Britain become involved in the Great Northern War. Initially supporting Russia in her expansion into the Baltic, after Sweden had denied access to the sea, in 1719 fears of the extent of Russian expansion saw Britain sign an early peace treaty with Sweden and attempt to restore some of the captured territory, but this was to prove unsuccessful. From 1718 to 20, King Philip V of Spain attempted to retake lost Spanish territories in Italy. In this War of the Quadruple Alliance, Britain, France, Austria and the Dutch ensured he failed in that goal. By 1739, Britain was at war with Spain again, following Spanish attacks on British merchant shipping in the Americas. This was the oddly named War of Jenkins' Ear, so-called after the ear of Captain Robert Jenkins that was severed by the Spanish for his piracy and afterwards paraded before Parliament as a reason for war. In 1740, this war became a sideshow in the War of Austrian Succession, in which Britain allied with Austria to support the accession of Maria Theresa to the throne. Once again, this stemmed from a desire to curtail French influence on the continent and saw fighting in Europe, the Indies and the Americas. On the continent, the British army had a mixed performance, securing victory at Dettingen under the command of King George II in 1743 and decisive defeat at Fontenoy in 1745. A second Jacobite rising also occurred in 1745, with Bonnie Prince Charlie attempting to take advantage of the British army's absence in Europe to try to seize the throne again. Despite widespread Scottish support, the return of some British regular troops was to seem ultimately driven back and defeated at Culloden, ending hopes for a Stuart restoration. In America, the greatest success was the seizure of the French fortress at Louisbourg, though this was returned to them in the peace treaties. At sea, there was more success, privateers were used extensively, and many merchant ships of both France and Britain were captured. The Allies eventually won in 1748, with Maria Theresa becoming Empress of Austria and Hungary. France gained little from the war, though Austria felt humiliated by the peace. At the end of the war, Britain embarked upon what was called the Diplomatic Revolution a new system of alliances that was hoped to ensure peace in Europe, but achieved the opposite, in the form of the Seven Years' War. Britain was aligned with her former enemy of Prussia under Frederick the Great. In 1754, clashes began in North America between British forces under George Washington and French troops along the disputed borders. Peace talks failed and both sides began sending out regular forces to the Americas. The Royal Navy also seized many French merchant ships. The outrage this caused saw many to see a European war as inevitable. Prussia preemptively invaded Saxony in 1756 and drew France and Austria into an alliance. The war in Europe was dominated by the military genius of Frederick the Great, with Britain providing few troops to the fighting, instead relying on sending him huge financial support. In the Americas, the British campaign started slowly but resulted in General Wolfe's spectacular capture of Quebec, the surrender of the Seven Nations of Canada and the expulsion of France from North America. Britain also faced conflict with her former ally the Cherokee, who were defeated in 1761, whilst a slave revolt in Jamaica under Taki in 1760 was also repressed. Spain suffered at the hands of the Portuguese in South America, losing further colonies and revenue, whilst Britain also conquered Senegal and French trading posts in the Gambia. The war ended in 1763 with Spain ceding Florida to Britain in addition to the French colonies gained. 
From 1744 to 63, Britain was also embroiled in the Carnatic Wars in India. British interests in India dated back to 1600, with the East India Company being granted a royal charter by Queen Elizabeth I. The company had rapidly expanded its foothold, establishing factories, gaining favour from the Mughal Empire and forming its own private armies to defend its financial interests. The EIC had been making much money in relative peace, but the wars in Europe brought them into conflict with the French, who fought them for dominance of the subcontinent. Native armies fought on both sides and various colonies changed hands throughout the three separate wars, but the eventual peace treaty saw the French government expelled from India. Whilst they were allowed to maintain trading posts, these fell under British administrative rule, marking the end of French ambitions in the region. 1763 saw the Pontiac Rebellion be launched by a confederation of Native American tribes who felt threatened by increased British settlement in North America. The tribesmen were unable to defeat the professional British forces, but the British were equally incapable of destroying them. The war was thus ended with a lenient treaty of mutual respect in 1766. In the same year, the first Anglo-Mysore war broke out, in which the East India Company attempted to conquer further tracts of India to link up their disconnected colonies. The Sultan of Mysore opposed their moves, however, and used the numerical superiority of his forces to utterly overwhelm the stretched company armies. Despite the arrival of the Marathas on the side of the British, an eventual treaty of mutual defence was signed between Britain and Mysore after a Mysorean army arrived outside the gates of Madras, the main company stronghold. Fighting in India continued when, in 1775, the first Anglo-Maratha war broke out. A lengthy campaign between company and Maratha forces caused by a claimant to the Maratha throne, seeking British support in his claims. This claimant was eventually defeated, but the war gained Britain the settlements of Salset and Broach when it ended in 1782, along with a guarantee that the Marathas would defeat Mysore and retake the disputed territories that had caused the first Anglo-Mysore war. The Anglo-Mysore Wars were to continue, with the second taking place between 1780 and 84, and the third in 1789-92. The second was to end with a restoration of the status quo, being the last time British and Indian leaders negotiated as equals. The third ended with the East India Company gaining control of half of the Kingdom of Mysore for itself and for Britain's allies. The Seven Years' War had granted Britain enormous territorial gains and saw her rivals shattered by the lengthy conflict, but had also left her almost bankrupt. Attempts to address this threat of bankruptcy through the introduction of taxation in North America led to the American Revolt, in which the 13 colonies rebelled against British rule in 1775. The British land forces enjoyed some early successes, but rebel victory at the Battle of Saratoga drew France to enter the war to settle a score with Britain in 1778, joined by Spain the following year. French support proved vital to the rebels, with the French navy offsetting Britain's naval supremacy and allowing for the British defeat at Yorktown in 1781. Spanish actions also saw the British expelled from Florida. British attentions had been split between America and Europe as the Spanish besieged Gibraltar in 1780. But despite continued attacks, the fortress remained in British hands, though Menorca was lost to the Spanish. The Dutch had been trading arms with the American rebels, which led Britain to begin stopping Dutch shipping and eventually declaring war in 1780. The Dutch were crushed by the Royal Navy, who blockaded their coast and captured the key Indian port of Negapatum. Peace was signed in 1783, with the new United States receiving considerable territory, but France and Spain gaining little. Britain had retained her valuable Caribbean holdings, along with Gibraltar, along with most valuable overseas colonies. The cost of supporting the American Rebellion was felt keenly in France, already suffering from the cost of the Seven Years' War. A lack of returns on this latest overseas enterprise was to prove too much for the people to bear. Resentment towards the detached French elite boiled over into outright revolution in 1789. In 1793, Britain joined the coalition of European monarchies to destroy this terrifying populist uprising, but their small professional armies were smashed by the French, who employed the strategy of mass mobilisation to swamp the professional forces under waves of zealous conscripts. By 1795, Prussia and Spain had surrendered, and by 1797, Britain was the only country remaining in opposition to France, ending what was known as the War of the First Coalition. In 1798, an up-and-coming French officer named Napoleon Bonaparte led an invasion of Egypt, capturing Malta along the way, but despite early successes was trapped there when Admiral Horatio Nelson destroyed his ships at the Battle of the Nile. French forces were also sent to support rebellions in Ireland, but these proved unsuccessful. At the end of 1799, after Anglo-Turkish forces failed to remove him, Napoleon returned to France of his own volition and made himself first consul, the head of the French government, and readied the nation to face the second coalition that had been formed against them.